Hey everybody, it's the Doll Boy, and today I have a very special video for you. As you might know, I really love Rainbow High dolls, and I've done a lot of reviews, restyles, and customizations on them. That's why you can probably imagine how excited I was when Rainbow High actually reached out to me to send me one of the Jet Dawson dolls for free. The way these Jet Dawson dolls were released was with a pre-order that had the numbered and non-numbered editions randomly mixed, and she's also available in stores now. After waiting for my doll to arrive, she finally made it here. The Jet Dawson doll I received from MGA is actually a numbered version, being number 3 out of 1000. Honestly, having such a low number still really blows my mind. So thank you so much to the Rainbow High team for gifting me this doll. The box Jet comes in is really pretty and says Rainbow High Collector Edition. It has this middle part that sticks out more than the rest, giving it a really fun design, and it says Art of Fashion. Behind the tag with the number, it tells you the name of this doll, which is Jet Dawson. One thing I thought was really interesting about this is that it actually mentions Series 1 on this box, while the box for the special edition Kia Hearts did not have any series numbers on it. On each corner of the box, you can find one of these golden plastic covers to make the entire box look like a fancy carrying cage, giving it a really interesting look that will also be very nice if you want to keep this doll in box. I did lose one of the plastic covers on the back, but I do believe it arrived with all of them on so it might just be laying around here somewhere. The back of the box once again says Rainbow High Collector Edition and shows the full artwork for Jet Dawson, her dress, all of her accessories she comes with, and her second pair of shoes as well. The box gives you a little information about the character Reading Jet Dawson is it. The up and coming fashion icon debuts her first couture collection. So now let's take this beautiful doll out of the box to take a closer look at her. To unbox this doll, I cut away the tape on both sides and cut away the three plastic tags on the top so I can carefully open the lid on this box and slide out the inner cardboard holding the doll. I did really take my time for this unboxing because I am planning to keep this box. That is also why I am cutting the doll out of the box, mostly from the back of the box, because this allows you to remove all the plastic pieces very neatly without ripping any of the cardboard on the front. It did take me quite a while to do it this way though, because all of those tags were taped very secure to the back and side of the box, so it took me quite some effort and concentration to remove everything without damaging the cardboard. However, it did pay off and gave me this really satisfying golden backdrop that says rainbow in graphic letters. Then to remove Jet from the plastic backing, I just carefully cut away the tags and then just slide the doll out. Out of the box, this doll comes with a lot of cool extras, like her clear plastic doll stand and a matching comb. She also comes with a dress form that has a really cool measuring tape in the colors of the rainbow. 
and there's actual fabric wrapped around that dress form, making it feel really realistic. My favorite part on this dress form though, might just be the functional wheels, as they both rotate and turn, allowing it to really move around. Jet also comes with her second dress, that is very detailed and is made of multiple layers, that actually has a beautifully designed underlayer as well. I actually also love the bow in the back, giving it that extra detail. To put this doll in the outfit, this dress velcros in the back, which I really like. We also got these two clear boxes, similar to the ones that came with the Avery Fashion Studio. One of those boxes holds a clear clothing hanger that says Rainbow, and we also got a regular white clothing hanger to complete the set. Then the other box holds the second pair of shoes, that are the strappy rainbow heels that have actual ribbon details. Jet also comes with this little sewing machine that actually moves. And honestly, I'm just shocked by the amount of detail that went into this doll and all of her accessories, because these items are such high quality. There were also some funny instructions about how to put on the shoes and how to attach the wheels on the dress form, which both are pretty easy to do. For the doll itself, her hair is black on one side and rainbow colored on the other side, with some black and rainbow bangs and a top knot on the front of her hair. Underneath that, you can see her really neat parting space in the rainbow colors and on the black side as well. This doll has some amazing eyes with purple irises that have rainbow accents as well as a star-shaped catch light. Underneath her bangs you can find the black eyebrows and white graphic eyeliner. On her eyelid and right underneath her eyes you can also find some sparkly eyeshadow. And to finish up the makeup look, she's rocking some red lips. With Jet, I'm actually really excited, because she is also my very first Rainbow High doll to have the added neck articulation. So her face can move sideways and up and down too. On top of that, her hair did not have any product in it, which I really love. For her outfit, she's wearing this white jacket with black drawn details that says Rainbow High in the back. To remove the jacket, you have to open up the buckle in the front. Then to make my life easier while removing the jacket, I also want to take off the hands that have these amazing leather gloves on them, that are real fabric with embroidered R's on them, which again is some crazy detail that they put in this doll. You can also see that her nails are painted black to fit in with the doll's black and white outfit. Inside of this jacket, the numbered versions will have a label inside telling you the number of the doll you own, which in my case is number 3. Underneath the jacket, Jet is also wearing this black sweater with a white R design on it. This sweater has the faux hood that we've seen on previous dolls already and has some actual white strings. Then in the middle of the sweater, it has a circle embroidered saying Rainbow High. They paired this with a black skirt saying Rainbow High again, and this skirt has the drawn on details in white all around, with even a drawn on back pocket that really matches perfectly with the jacket. Underneath that, she's wearing tights to match her skin tone that have a black graphic design on it. This piece really reminded me of the look Leanne wore in the Little Mix Bounce Back music video, 
and I personally love seeing the real-life inspiration on these dolls. Her shoes are these white sneakers that tie in perfectly with that same drawn-on look. What I was really impressed with is that even the laces are drawn in, and she has those golden ring details and rainbow written on the front. As you can see, I am able to move these feet around a lot more than we've seen before, which indicates her extra articulation. This doll has the thigh and knee movement that we're used to from these rainbow high dolls, but Jet also has some articulation in her feet. The feet can point down quite a bit more, but she's not able to pose her feet completely flat, and you can also move them all around, which is a very nice addition. In her arms, Jet also has the regular movement, and additionally, she has a really cool added movement in her torso, which makes her pose very well. For the numbered versions of Jet, here you can see the labels in the sweater and the skirt, and those graphic tights do not have an additional label. The sneakers also are not numbered, but he did notice that they have the Rainbow High logo on the bottom of the shoes, which I think is a pretty cool detail. In the dress, you can find that numbered label as well. When I put that dress on Jet, I actually enjoyed how Jet looked in it a lot more than I thought I would. I personally would have expected a lot more rainbow colors in that dress to match her hairstyle, especially since Jet has no red in her hair at all. I do however love this dress a lot, and I can't wait to see how this will look on Ruby, and how Jet will look in some more rainbow colored clothes. That second pair of shoes is also really amazing, with the actual ribbons to tie the shoes. They have the golden heels, shaped in the letters R and H, and it says rainbow spelled out in black. The soles of these shoes have a gradient rainbow look, which I think looks so cool. Then as you probably already expected, I am gonna take a closer look at this doll's hair to see how we can restyle her. For this, I am obviously gonna take the bun down, but because I do want to keep that hair parting very neat, I'm tying off the bottom hair in a ponytail first. Taking out the bun shows you that the base of this bun is a high ponytail, which really shows off the rainbow colored sectioning very well which looks so neat. And then when you take down the actual ponytail, you can see what I was worried for, which is the lack of a part line. As you can see, the inside of that bun is rooted in mostly pink hair on one side and black on the other, and there's no middle part. This honestly was a bit of a disappointment to me, because I really wanted to do several fun hairstyles on her, but this hair situation is limiting the options I have for that. For me personally, this does not take away any of my love for this doll, because I can definitely see that there was a lot of attention going into the packaging, clothing and accessories that this doll came with, so I can see why they weren't able to do an intricate black and rainbow parting. That being said, I am thinking of adding my own parting to this doll, so if you would be interested in seeing how that turns out, let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel to see that. For now though, I also wanted to give you some hairstyling options for Jet, with that top ponytail as a base. For the first look, I separated the black from the rainbow hair, and I twist both sections around each other, by twisting each individual section clockwise, and then wrapping them around each other counterclockwise. After creating that twist, I wrap it around the base of the ponytail, for this really cool looking bun. 
what I really love about it is that you get a very clear separation in the black and rainbow hair. Another look you can do is just keep that simple high ponytail. To make it look just a little sleeker, I like to wrap a colored strand of hair around the base and then secure that with a clear rubber band to hold it in place. I actually redid this using all the rainbow colors in her hair, which gives it a really fun effect too. And I personally love that because it does tie in the rainbow bangs perfectly. And then lastly, I also really like the braided look for Jet. Because again, I think this showcases the blend of the rainbow and black hair very nicely. If you want, you can also finish the look by wrapping the braid around the base of the ponytail for a braided bun. And that concludes my Jet Dawson review and quick restyle. Once again, I want to give a big thank you to MGA for sending me this Jet Dawson doll for free. I really hope you liked this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts about the doll in the comments. Then if you want to see my partline customization video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know you want to see it in the comments. In the meantime, you can see more of my dolls on my Instagram, at the doll boy. See you next time!